Yes. May I help you? Actually, I've been told by a mutual acquaintance that it might be the other way around. Were you followed? Yeah, by a clown and a midget for a while. But they eventually met the bearded woman they were looking for near a coffee shop, and we went our separate ways. Surely you're aware humor requires context, my friend. With a man like me, being funny in the wrong context could have dire consequences. So what is it you need? Straight to business, a rare quality these days. Tell me, are you familiar with local gangs? More than enough to get by. Perfect. Now, I warn you, this is not the cleanest of work, but your efforts will be well compensated. An associate of mine will leave a package for you in an alley on Grand River Road. You will retrieve this package and then use it to deal with a problem of mine. Permanently. Who's the target? Someone who won't be missed, I assure you. A ganger that goes by the name Double T. Hangs around in an apartment near Earl's Court. It's not likely that he'll be alone. Just as it's not likely the people keeping him company will be of the pleasant sort. You can't miss him. He's got prominent and rather tasteless augmentations to his face and arms. You're telling me you went through all this trouble to hire me, just so I can eliminate a banger? That would be a tad overkill, I admit. No, eliminating the target with the weapon provided to you is only the first part of your assignment. Once you've dealt with Double T, I need you to sneak into Derelict Row and plant the murder weapon among the baller's weapon stash. Unnoticed. Kill a member of the Motor City Bangers, then plant the murder weapon in the rival gang's weapon stash. You're trying to start a war. Hopefully. I don't understand what you're getting out of this. It sounds to me like you're just the middleman for someone else. You think too much, my friend. This could prove to be a source of great personal discomfort for you in the near future. You obviously want this done quick and done well. I respect that. All I'm asking for is half the payment in advance as a gesture of goodwill. In my line of work, you simply can't afford to be careless. You've got guts, I'll give you that. You've got yourself a deal.
Are you deaf or just plain stupid? I told you I had to get the hell out of my way. You talk tough, but we both know that's all you can do. Deep down, you're nothing but a coward. Well, trust me, tough guy. I'm the real thing. If you don't give me what I want, I won't beat you up. I'll kill you. Ah, oh, now listen, man, we we obviously got off on the wrong foot here, right? I don't want no trouble. Talk. Okay, look, I just came in one morning and there was an email with my new assignment in it. Official business. But there were also specific instructions. I had to check out the lab for footage from an IntelliCam. They told me to take it and leave it near a garbage can somewhere near the lake. What was on it? Well... It's not crystal clear, but mainly it shows the boys who attacked Seraph as they were breaching the labs. And it looked like they were bringing something in with them. Eh, impossible to tell what. Who asked you to do this? You think I know? Orders are orders around here. They always come from above. And nobody asks questions. You just do what they say and you hope you don't end up like Secretary Haas over there. Handful of people were taken into custody this evening following yet another anti-augmentation. 